Thank you for tuning in to another Race Grooves unboxing video. This is a 2015 K case assortment. This is a sample of what you'll see when the K case mixes hit your area. They have different mixes, but basically, K case, this is kind of the sample that you're going to get when they hit your area. This is also the video where you're going to watch and pick a couple models, suggest track time that came out of this case. Let's say the GT40 is your favorite car. Hey, race crews, do track time with GT40. It has to come out of this case. I can't do random suggestions. There's, there's tens of thousands of Hot Wheels cars. And in order for me to make it manageable, uh, I need the cars to come out of this case. So the people who watch this video and make a suggestion or two for track time, they have a chance at a shout out, okay? So when you're watching, keep in mind a couple cars, and then at the end, suggest a model or two, and you might get a shout out, okay? Torque Twister, back in the assortment. Actually, I think he was in the J case. There we have 14 Corvette Stingray, Street Stealth, Harley Davidson Fat Boy, Circle Trucker, and I just realized I forgot to put on my microphone. We're just going to keep rolling and I'm not going to have a better audio. Sorry, Mad Splash back in the assortment. Haven't seen him for a while. You know, he, he came out mm, a couple of years ago. He had a couple colors. So it's kind of nice to see him back. Ah, it's an interesting car. Ah, well, he's a car. He's a boat. He's a model. So if you like them, pick them up. It's up to you. You buy what you like. You don't like it? You don't have to buy it. Oh, check it out. Two boats. Two boat type cars in the same case. The H2 Go, same thing. He was, he was around for a while. Haven't seen him. Got some flames. On the, on the top it says Sea Rescue Team H2 Go. And it has a King's Crown. Kind of interesting there couple of those and rig storm in this case as well it's a carryover he was in the last case so if for some reason you don't see j cases maybe at least he's in the k case wow talk about flames both of them 67 chevy c10 and the 65 ford ranchero both have a uh, wild flames on them i wonder if they're both from the same series let's take a quick peek heat fleet Heat Fleet. Yeah, both from the same series. And internationally, I mean, th these worldwide cases have uh, no case code. You can't tell what case code. And there's multiple languages on the package. And you can't see, it doesn't say new models. I don't know why they don't do it for the worldwide assortments. Uh, it might be because they might have to say new model, nueve model, and, you know, carrito, especial. They, they might have to put the multiple languages on the front as well. I'm not sure why they don't, but they just don't. 68 Copa Camaro, I focus on the cars anyways. Hey, Aston Martin Vantage GT3. That is a new case for this, a, a new car for uh, Hot Wheels. It's the first time I've seen it in a case assortment. Let's take a look. Got painted headlights. Low and sleek. Got a big fin in the back. Or spoiler if you want to be particular. It looks like, uh, wow, it's uh, the spoiler is part of the body. I was curious if it was going to be a separate piece, but no, part of the body. Plastic base. Looks like a metal body. PR5 wheels. Hmm, nice car. If you like that car, maybe you can suggest a model for track time. You might get picked. Mountain Mauler. <clears throat> and you might think, oh, Mountain Mauler is not good in the boosters. You don't know what kind of track time I'm going to do. I could do a gravity race. I've had Mountain Mauler in some videos before. Hey, Epic Fast and Speed Slayer. Those are two fantastic track cars for the boosters, loops, and curves, speaking of which. So that's Epic Fast's second color, Speed Slayer. As a matter of fact, I think both of them are red in their first color. So, hey, nice color for both of these guys. Speed Slayer's got skinny wheels. H09, that means they were produced 2015. H is for the 2015 production year. Nine, ninth week of the year. It was made, that means it was made the first week of March or last week of February. Let's see, what do we have here? MIG, I almost said Storm. MIG rig. 
pretty unique color. It's nice to get different kinds of colors. Morris Mini, no longer a pop-up, no switch to uh, pop off the body. I already talked about that in the last video. Lamborghini Urus, just simple white. For those of you who like to writ dye your models, you can writ dye that Urus. Batmobile! I can't keep the name straight as to which one. I like the Keaton version and I like the uh, TV version. This one might be bold and the beautiful. Don't quote me on that. I like this color. Dodge Challenger concept. I like the casting too. Big and beefy car. Looks like he'd be mean on the streets. Turbine time in green. We got a special metal version at the Nationals Convention. That was fantastic. Here we have Bully Goat. Hey, uh, check out that Tampo scheme. Mm, Nitro Door Slammer had that Tampo scheme last year, right? Kind of a partial Hot Wheels logo. I really like that stylistic. Unfortunately, they gave it that, those wheels, but I know some people like them. Volkswagen Caddy gets a second color. He was orange in the first release. Now he's in silver. And yeah, he's got a skateboard in the back. You see the skateboard right there? And yeah, he got track time in my 2015 F-Case track time. Volkswagen Caddy. You'll have to tune in. I'll, I'll try to remember to give you a link for that track time. Surf crate back in the assortment with the uh, surfboard, which is part of the interior now. And 69 Chevelle. Hey, I see a new car here. 2008 Lancer. Actually, it's not a new car. A new release. People are going crazy for this. 2008 Lancer Evolution. Nice, nice rally tempo scheme. Very nice. This case is kind of dusty. Let me go slow so you can see the uh, tempos, if you can read them. And I like the color on this one too, Sat, like a satin plum, uh, that's what I call it, another color guy, so, yeah, kind of a satin plum. And I've been seeing people post pictures on the Race Grooves fan page, uh, I'm sorry, the Race Grooves community page, they like that car too. Notice how I keep every car right in front of you, this way there's uh, no, no switcheroos, you see exactly what comes out of the case. And if there's no treasure hunt, race crews, you didn't get a treasure hunt. Yeah, treasure hunts are not in every case. Street Cleaver in orange with the now one wheel in the back. And Loopster, Loopster was in the last case assortment as well. Except uh, that Loopster, or in that case, I didn't get any guys with hands up in the back seat. The guys in the back seat were just like in the front seat. But, uh... All four had their hands down. This one, uh, nice to get the one with the hands up in the back seat. Looks like he's having fun, just like we are with our toy cars. Whether you like, when I say have fun with your cars, I'm talking about collecting, I'm talking about playing. Whatever you like to do, have fun with your cars, okay? Enjoy the hobby. If you're not having fun, find something else to do. Nice to see, 70. Ford Escort RS1300. Nice to see that one in the K case as well. So don't go crazy thinking that, oh, J case is past my area and they're gone. You might get one in the K case as well. High voltage. Nice. Nice capos and perfect uh, for his name. And yet, this is a uh, former accelerator. Got tempos on the back there too. Former Acceleracer for the fans of the Acceleracers series. Here we have the 71 El Camino in purple and pink. Very nice. Honda Racer. This model here, uh, this was never a new model because it actually appeared first in a series called Designer's Challenge. Mattel went to Honda and different Ford, different manufacturers and said, hey, come up with a Hot Wheel for us. And so Honda came up with the Honda Racer. 
so that's why it was never a new model. And they were kind of they were kind of clever too because they they made the body into an H. Can you see an H right there with the uh, metal body? So that was kind of that was kind of a fun time back then for them to for Mattel to do that with the manufacturers, allow them to make a Hot Wheels car. Back drafter in yellow. I just I just really like that car. What do you guys think? Are, uh, are you enjoying it? I even I'm even seeing some adults like the uh, back drafter. It's got some character, you know. Yeah, it's a fantasy model, but it's got some character. Drifts, the uh, a little tough to say for me, but that's another brand new model for this assortment. Definitely a track car. Got all the characteristics of a track car. Low to the ground. You got a smooth body right here for the booster to grip. And as far as the decos, this we're talking about uh, other attributes of the car. Got temples all over the top. Joy of Machi? Machine. <laughs> the, end, uh, the end didn't tampo very well on the right side. Let me check the other one. Let's see if this one got a better tampo for the end. Nope. Joy of Machi. <laughs> I did get a treasure hunt, by the way. I passed it. I'm sure some of you guys seen it. I just kind of went on by. 16 Angels. Nice to see it in pink for us who like uh, who have collectors and our families who like pink. Then we can get them a pink car. 65, 63 Studebaker Champ. And the 8 Crate. So uh, even though the VW Bug was in pink as a treasure hunt earlier this year, uh, it was kind of ah, I wish it would, the VW Bug would have been a regular release so that there would be more. But glad to see we get 16 Angels in pink so that we can get some for our pink car collection. Let's go! Glad to see you back. This is a model. We, look, it's it got studs right there or posts. You can put your uh, Lego fig rigs right there. I mean your. Your Lego minifigs. Look, you can put them right there. Have your minifigures on your car. Put them on the bumper, the front, the back. Uh, I just let them sit down and drive. Love race team colors. I'm glad to see them give this model that treatment, that color treatment. Here we have Rescue Duty in green. Fantastic track car. And yeah, I know it has a plastic body, but it just kind of, it's just for. A child to play with the car is just a nice size for their hand to drive their cars around. Circle Trucker, have not seen you in a long time. You took a couple years off there, at least in the singles. I don't know if it's been had custom colors, uh, multi pack exclusives or not. Tony Berry, when they put names on the sites, typically those are Mattel employees. I'm not familiar with who Tony Berry is. There's Ice Shredder. Hey, just like uh, Loopster, they got people in the back. So that's kind of a neat model. That was on the J case, but if you missed that unboxing video, then I'm letting you have a peek at it here. And no, there is no hands-up variation with this one, just uh, with Loopster. Oh, yes. Let's uh, give those two a special look in a second. 71 Buick Riviera. Can you read? I know some can't read. 71, 1971 Buick Riviera. Beautiful red color. I think that I have thought of this car more as a cruiser than a racer, but it looks like they have uh, racing sponsors on the side. Let me know if this was a race car. People treated it like a race car. I'm in East LA, so I see that more as a cruiser car, you know, head down Whittier Boulevard. 90 Acura NSX. Ooh, nice and sleek. Metal spoiler, part of the body. I don't think we're going to see plastic spoilers as separate pieces anymore. Secret black dome. You could be cruising in that car, nobody knows. You can be styling. That's a nice looking car right there. Unfortunately, no uh, headlight temples. I wonder if this real car has pop-up headlights, and so that's why they don't put the headlights there. That would make sense. I collect toy cars. I'm not too familiar with the exotic real cars. Great Gatsby. I just seen this movie, The Great Gatsby, or at least the re-release with my kids a few weeks ago. Hmm. I'm not so sure that that this model seems like it would be for the time period. Gatsby. 
Kind of interesting looking. Got a spot in the back for passengers. I'm sure back in the day they might get it up to uh, 40, 45 miles an hour. Winning formula back. <clears throat> Another fantastic track car. Of course, fans of winning formula already know that. 68 Hemi Barracuda. It looks like a familiar paint tampo scheme. Snowstormer. That's, that was new in the J case. And as you can see, carried over into the... No, new in the J case. Carried over into the K case. Tomb up. That's a nice color blue. Nice color blue. Tomb up. Another snowstormer. And last up, fantasy models. We have the Night Dragon in blue. And Speed Trap in a baby blue. So let me find that treasure hunt, and I'm sure a lot of you've seen it already. Yeah, Mad Splash was a basic treasure hunt for this assortment. Not a whole lot of tampo room on the side, so they put the Circle Flame logo right on the hood. There's your Circle Flame logo. So if you find that car, uh, the this treasure hunt, Mad Splash, as you can see, it was in the K case assortment. So in the K cases. If you find a treasure hunt, it might be one per case. There might not be any in a case. There's, there's never, or there, there shouldn't be two in a case. But these are the treasure hunts. If you find one, fantastic. I'm not saying they're super rare. They're, they're in a lot of cases, trust me. But if you find one and you like it, have fun. If you have a collector friend, maybe you pick one up and give it to your collector friend. The 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Was not new to this case, but fantastic seeing it again. And also the Lancer Evolution was not is not a new model, but it's nice seeing it in the mix. Here's some new models that were in this assortment. Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Uh, I would definitely like to see some a few colors of this one for sure. Beautiful red for the 90 Acura NSX. Brand new, brand new model. It doesn't say new model here because it's in the worldwide packages. And a fantasy addition to the lineup. Drifta was brand new. First time ever produced. Great Gatsby, another brand new model. And as far as Loopster, it appeared in the J case. But I'm glad to see one uh, with the hands up variation. Very nice. And I don't know if they're going to be rare or not. You've seen two in a case. Apparently not going to be rare, but you know what? Oh yeah, by the way, as far as people talking about you collecting cars, just put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Happy collecting! Bye-bye!